<clears throat> well, we, uh, we actually live behind the church here in the development and actually passed by it a number of times. And so there was a time in our lives where we, uh, about three and a half years ago, where we needed to uh, decide where to go with uh, church now. And uh, we always wanted to try it out. And I uh, read the statement of faith in the church and we agreed with everything there. So it, it made a, uh, the Holy Spirit wasn't telling us where to attend church. So it made sense to, to attend here. Uh, well, we moved to the area in 2009 and um, looked at the various churches that were in the area. And um, we live right down the street. And so we drove by and said, well, what about that church? So we looked at the um, church website and saw the statement of faith and it looked wonderful. Um, so we started coming and uh, met people and very quickly it became our, our church family. My wife and my two children, my wife Heather and my children, uh, son Chase, who just turned seven. Uh, and a daughter, Ruth, who's just turned five. Um, so my name is David. I have a wife named Rachel. Uh, we met in 2001 and got married in 2004. Um, and um, the Lord has blessed us with four kids. So Tobias is my eldest. He goes by Toby. And then Violet and Tessa and Jeremiah. So there are six of us. I'm actually on the missions uh, team. Uh, I enjoy serving there. Uh, my wife uh, actually teaches the uh, pre-K class uh, Sunday mornings, um, and the kids obviously attend. Different things um, throughout the years. So um, pretty early on, in fact, uh, right around the time we became members, we were helping out with the adult um, Sunday school class, the Transformers class. Um, and so um, I've helped uh, with the teaching rotation with that, and I've really enjoyed that. I, I have a passion for the Word of God, and that's been a lot of fun just to grow alongside some of those men and women. And uh, Rachel has been very involved in the ladies' Bible studies as well as the welcoming, um, welcoming team. Um, more recently, I've been involved with the, with the youth group teaching Sunday school to the, to the high school students um, and various other things here and there. I think um, I'd like to remember for my sacrifice for others, honestly, I think uh, that what Jesus did for us and said is that, you know, those who are forgiven can forgive more. And I believe I've been forgiven a lot. Uh, and so I want to be remembered for that, I guess. The way I would answer that question is um, almost that I wouldn't be remembered at all. I really love the words of John the Baptist where um, his disciples are coming at him and saying, you know, everybody's going after this guy, Jesus. And, you know, aren't, you know, sort of implying, aren't, aren't you getting a little bit jealous of him? And I love the way he responded. He said, is the best man at a wedding um, jealous for the groom who gets married? No, he's joyful. And then he says this, um, he must increase, I must decrease. And that's my prayer, that um, in whatever way I serve this local subset of the body of Christ, I would decrease, that I would do God's work, but um, that they would remember him, that they would exalt him and, and forget me, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But that really is honestly my point of view on it.